Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Dragonfly Gamer UK, and we are back in Stationers on Europa. In the last episode, we installed a number of frames here and here just to allow for easy access. We also set up an insulated tank connected to a ice crusher with insulated pipes, and that is now connected to the input of our advanced furnace. Also connected is a vent connected through a volume pump to the input of the tank. This allows us to pull oxygen, which from the atmosphere, as Europa's atmosphere is 100% oxygen, and feed that directly into the insulated tank. By mixing the oxygen along with volatiles, we can make a fuel. As you can see, I've actually gone a little bit over. We have 40%, 40.7% of oxygen to 59.3% of volatiles that ideally needs to be 67% volatiles to 33% oxygen. So I've gone over a little bit, I was a little bit distracted um, between the sessions I did a little bit of work and I got a little bit distracted and I was a little bit late getting to turn the pump off. So we will resolve that, we'll just come and throw some more volatiles in the ice crusher which will even the balance up again. Here we go, I'm putting 10 more volatiles into the ice crusher, that will process soon to the tank We'll just let that run for a few minutes, and while that's doing that, I'll show you what other changes I've made. So the eagle eyed amongst you may notice that this has been rejigged a little bit. I had the ice crusher sat there, and the pipe were coming out and around and into space, sort of hanging in space over here. I didn't like that, so I've reconfigured it so that the uh, the pipe to the go to the furnace and the pipe, which will eventually go to our combustion centrifuge comes straight out the tank. So actually what's that done to our mixture? 39 probably throw half of that in there and then just set that process. So the other things I did was I installed a new battery or a second battery which is now connected it to the input from our wind generators and fuel generator. Any coal left in there? Yes coal left in there and then through to our power control unit. I rejigged the coding on this, so I'll quickly show you what I did. I think I've actually got it on here still. So all I did is this before was load R0 with the ratio of a the original battery. So it was that battery, so that was uh, SBAT, so that was load S R0 SBAT ratio. I've now changed that to load batch R0, so it's still loading to R0. Now, because I have the prefab hash in there, it reads that ratio from all of the batteries connected to the network. And I'm saying it's the ratio I want, and zero means the average of those batteries. So all I'm, what I'm reading is the average of both of those batteries. And then the rest of the program's still the same. It was just that one line I needed to change. And that now just means that when the storm came, because there was a storm while I was uh, doing a little few bits offline, which is why I did it, it allowed me to charge both batteries fully and everything else was charged. So it just gives that a little bit more power, not having to rely so much on coal. Although we will do because I still only got 440 watts coming in and 775 watts going out, although well, that's, that's like going on. I think that's some of the bits outside, the pumps and things outside. Another change I made previously, this pressure regulator was on permanently pressurizing that tank to 8 megapascals. That was constantly drawing 100 watts, so what I've done again is I've jigged the programming. Let me just... Oh, where's my laptop? Grab my laptop, that helps. This time I will have to import the program. Here we go. I've added a couple of lines to the bottom here. One to load R5 with the O2 canister filler pressure so that is the pressure in the tank here and this canister filler and then set r6 to 1 if that pressure which is now on in r5 is less than 8000 which is 8000 kilopascals or 8 megapascals and then that r6 sets that pressure regulator so that's our o2 pressure regula regulator which is this one here it turns that physically turns that off if the pressure in there is above 8 megapascals and we can show that working quickly yeah the tank's just below 8 I do that that pump comes on this will quickly fill to 8 megapascals 
and the pump goes off because that's now above 8 megapascals. That wouldn't have saved me in the explosion last time. The reason it blew up last time is because that tank pressure was going up because the outside pressure, i.e. the pressure in this room, was 120 degrees which was causing the, Hydration critical. the pressure in this tank to increase. So there are the two other changes I made in the, between the sessions. I think that was it really. Did I do anything else? Not that I can think of. Right, we need water. And before we have water, we need food. I always have the snack bars or the cereal bars second because they increase the uh, food quality. And it means then when I drink the water, I get 125% hydration rather than 100%. Just turn it on to fill it up and turn it off. So the only things that are really on at the moment, well that fridge is not connected to power, it doesn't need to be. That's drawing power. That housing is drawing 100 watts. That housing is drawing 100 watts. I know I used to think it was that much. I thought it was about 10 watts. But no, it's 100 watts. And I can show that by, if you want to know what's drawing power in your base, find your network analyzer. Put that into the tablet. And then turn the tablet on and point it at the cabling. And you can see here, all lathe closed, console closed, solar fuel generator is off, hydraulic pipe, hydraulic pipe bender is off, electronic printer is off, vent off, station battery is providing 1.16 megawatts, uh, grow light is taking 70 watts, the pressure regulator, um, that one is a one outside actually, so that's the one for our jetpack tank so that can go off, that can save 100 watts there. Advanced furnace is taking 100 watts. IC housing is taking 50 watts, apologies I thought it was 100 watts, 50 watts. Battery cell charger is taking 10 watts. Station battery, the other station battery is 2.23 megawatts available. Um, area controllers 10 watts, IC housing, another IC housing, another 50 watts, so 100 watts between the two IC housings. Door, that should be door out, not door hour. I'll have to change the name on that. That's 10 watts each for the two doors, 5 watts for the O2 analyzer, which is analyzing the pipe down there. O2 analyzer, O2 pumps off, so that's not drawing anything. Ice crusher, I've left it on outside, that's 10 watts, I can re switch that off. And the one in here down there, Make sure that's turned off. Cable analyzer isn't doing anything. O2 canister isn't taking anything. Gas sensor isn't taking anything. Tool manufacturer is off. The vents are off. The heaters are off. O2 regulator is off. But the big draw at the minute is a beacon, which is 300 watts. So that's a beacon I put on the roof up here. I can see from here. Just there. Just there. That orange thing is taking 300 watts. I can save a bit of power by making sure I turn things like ice crushers off you're only drawing 5 power watts I need you on but you're drawing 50 I need you on you're drawing 50 I need you on you're drawing 10 these two doors are drawing 10 each that can go off that's drawing 100 that tank's already full isn't it yeah yeah it's fine turn you off you're drawing 100 turn you off you're drawing 10 so this is the way you can look and see what power you're using. So now if I go to this, uh, we can see that we are, let's go back to the top again, very top line, 37 devices pulling 555 watts, potential is 5.98 megawatts, and we require 555 watts. Now what do we have coming in? The only thing you can't see there is what power is coming in, and that really, you have to have an analyzer on a network to actually see what that is, such as that there. And we are producing no, look at that, 200 watts, and we're pulling 500 watts are so still draining the batteries down. So yeah, those wind turbines just aren't cutting it. I'm going to need loads more of them, I think. I may try a solar panel. I don't think it really produces enough power. I've got a solar panel here anyway. Don't think I do. Don't think I do. What does a solar panel take? Just a basic solar panel. Um, steel, electrum, astrology. Delight, 
and canal astrology. Oh, we've only got five grams out, not enough. Steel electrum invar. Steel electrum invar. Have we got any invar? Solder. It's a new. Copper gold. It's a new. Steel. Nothing. Iron. No, so I don't need invar either. Okay, let's just go for a very basic. Basic of the basic. Yeah. Let's quickly create one of you. I'm just going to slap it on the roof somewhere. See how much light we get from it. During the day. And I can guarantee it's going to be minimal. And I'll need some glass with that. Any glass here? glass in my backpack. It is in my backpack. Uh, I need a little bit of cabling. Heavy cabling probably. Because it's literally just going to be a trial. Nope. Oh, wrong button. That one. Now let me just swap those back over. And stick my network analyzer back in there. I may need that in a bit actually. Maybe even a bit preemptive. So the sun comes up over there. Okay, the sun comes up over that way, so we want you. Like so, what's not ideal, is it? Okay, you know what, I'm just going to stick it flat. Stick you there. And I'm probably going to need one more heavy cabling. None there, none there. None in there. None in there. Typical. Typical. I'm not going to spare up here, by the way. No, 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 Okay, let's just quickly go. Uh, okay, let's stick the glass on. As I said, this is purely a test to see if we can get any more power solar panels and the wind generators, or maybe a combination of the two. Because at the moment, I'm so energy deficit, I keep wasting coal. what I want. And wire cutters. Alright, we've just got to wait the sun coming up. So, anyway, that's just a little test. Maybe I just put a few solar panels across there for the sake of doing it and see if I can get anything out of them. Um, what do I want to do this session? Because obviously when, the reason I'm interested in how much power I'm generating is because the Deep Vein Miner Deep Vein Miner, Deep Miner, whatever it's called Deep Miner Needs 500 watts And that will very quickly deplete my batteries So that's why I'm so interested in trying to produce more power However, how are we get on here? How is this now? We'll have to do some more. 36. Um, you know what? Let's just throw a bit more in. Let's half that again. Turn you on. Thirty-five. Okay, I just throw the rest of this in. It'll not be far off once that's done. As long as it's within a percent or two either way on the uh, volatiles, on the oxide, sorry, I'm happy with that. We're getting under 34. Come on. 33.7, 33.6. 33.7, 33.6. 33.7, 33.6. 
perfect. That's uh, fine by me. That's within 0.2 of where I needed to be, 0.3 of where I needed to be, so that would do nicely. Thank you. So now, when we want to use the furnace, instead of drawing the gas, hot gas from there, we can draw in new gas, uh, fresh gas from the tank. Just hit that. Literally, doesn't take much, and we get a combustion, and the temperature is quite high. Obviously, if you want to make some of the uh, alloys and things, you are going to have to um, use ices and what have you. Uh, I covered a lot of that in a video I've already made on how to use the advanced furnace by using uh, nitrice. Not nitrice. Don't use nitrice. Use oxide or water to cool your furnace. And if you're going to use oxide, make sure you vent the gas and don't throw some volatiles in there. After you put a load of nitrice in there, as your tank will go back. Yeah, furnace will go back. Right, anyway, so that is working. Oh, no, I want. Oh, oh, oh. Let's bleed that out. What was I going to do? What was I going to do? That's working, that's working. I want a better drill, that's what I was thinking of. Do I have the alloys to make myself a heavy drill? And I'm terrible for leaving these things on as well. Uh, drill heavy. Steel, electrum, invon, solder. Arr. You know what I'm missing? The invar. Steel, electrum, solder. You don't need to be on, there's no volatiles in here. Invar 10 grams. Do I have any invar over here? Constant turn. No. No. What a shame. My invar can't remember what I need for it. Invar is iron and nickel. Okay, so I've got some iron on me, but I don't think I've got any nickel. I think I used all the nickel I had. Yeah, your lead, silver, lead, iron. Yep, I need to go and find some nickel. Okay, let's go this way for this time. That one, one, you. Actually, I think I went this, this way last time to find some nickel. So nickel is like a deep orange colour. That's cobalt. That's it there. Deep orangey, browny colour. It won't take long to mine this, so I'll just quickly mine this and head back. So, actually while I'm mining this, I was just thinking, um, I see that uh, Starship Flight 5 uh, looks set to happen tomorrow. Do we think it's going to happen? Will the FAA issue a license to SpaceX to launch the rocket? I'm guessing by the time I upload this video, we'll know one way or the other because I've got to edit this video. So yeah, um, I don't know if many of you follow Starship or not what's going on with it. Um, I guess a lot of people do if they play these sort of games. Um, and I think this game just kind of highlights the amount of effort that's going to be required to live on another world um, and have to set up all the infrastructure to do so. You know, I mean, okay, this game's simplifying it a lot, but it's still bloody complicated, you know. Um, it's still not easy. All right, base, where's my base? Where's my base over there? I want to get back and check that solar panel. Right, how are you doing? Generating a big fat zero. Uh, 
Um, let's quickly try something. Just trying to get it sort of pointing towards the sun a bit. No, it's still too an acute angle. And I haven't got enough cable to put it on that side. Uh, okay, I don't think the sun's going to do anything if I'm honest. I just don't think it's going to be enough energy in the sun to be of any use. Try one more. I'm pretty sure when I've tried in the past this there just isn't the energy here. Let's see how close can I get this. Have I got enough cabling? I don't think I have. Well maybe. One Two, three. No, I don't. Oh, I don't know. 170 watts I got there. Um, you know what? Let's leave that there. Uh, the next storm will probably just blow it away anyway, but. We just get a heavy cable suck in, connect it properly. So let's just quickly connect this up. And I know it's not really producing at full three as the sun goes that way. Um, but you know what? Out's better than out. So we've got a little bit something. It was while it's crossing the sun at the sky there. We're getting maybe a couple of watts out of it for a few minutes, which is better than the poultry. <laughs> maybe it's 100 watts I'm getting out of all of those at the minute. Um, so I may have to look at sticking a few more solar panels on there. Anyway, back to what we were doing. I now have um, plenty of iron and nickel. So, right, what do we need for invar? What temperature? 18. Uh, what? Well, 1.2 to 1.5. Okay, that might be challenging. With 18 to 20 megapascals. Okay, so let's feed some gas in. See the pressure, temperature went up very quickly, and the pressure. So we've got to get the pressure down to the temperature down to 1.5, I believe. So I'm just going to bring that down to there for now. Yeah, 1.5. We are a bit high. Do I have? How is the chamber doing? What have we got excess of on there? We've got a fat battery. Okay. Yeah, got a bit of an excess of uh, volatiles at the moment. Oh, the temperature's come down nicely, actually. We may have to just give it a little blast or something to get pressure back up. Come on, temperature drop. 1.5. There we go. 
And again, it's just messing around with these uh, pressures and things to try and get it away you want. That one wasn't too bad because the pressure, it was, it was a temp pressure to challenge a bit there, getting the pressure with the right temperature range. Um, they were both quite narrow bands, but a lot of it, it it's easier than that. Let's close that for now. So there's our Invar. You can go in there. And I'll now build a heavy, heavy drill. Them. Just put them back in there. Build another heavy battery. I actually think I've got a heavy battery in here. I oh know it's a small battery, okay. So you can go in there. You can go in there. You can go in there. That's my battery built. Come back here, you. You can go in there. You can go in there. Swapped out. Can be swapped out. Your gas. You need to be charged. You need to be charged. Okay, I can use them two batteries. Let's charge. That's charged, so you can go. So that one, you're done. That's all those done. You a big battery, you want to go there because you use a lot of power. And then my suit battery should be yeah, eighty-nine percent, it's still way up there, so I will swap with that one just for the hell of it. So that's all the battery's done. Which is always useful. Uh, you can go in there, don't need you. Now I've got some invol, let me just... Solar panel heavy, Astra alloy. Have I got enough? No, damn it. Could do that one. That one won't be damaged by storms. It's so nearly flat, you so you shouldn't be on yet. No, you're not. Still got coal in there. Yep. I also want to see how much a big wind generator is because I can't remember off the top of my head. But power is key here, definitely. And that's me now constant turn pretty much. Okay, so let's go and install this. So, not ideal, but um, did I create a heavy one before? I thought I created the light solar panel before. Heavy angled. Oh, it is different. Yeah, it is different. It's a little bit thin. I thought they used to be just silver. They must have changed the colour of them. Yeah. I thought it was going mad then, because you've got to use a welder with the glass on these ones. But it won't be damaged by the wind where that one will, by a storm. 
Doesn't generate any more power by the way, it's just uh, it's more robust. So we'll just see what they do by it like that, because the sun comes up this side of um, Jupiter and tracks across the sky over there. It's not up for long, so it's pointless having a, a proper tracking solar panel. I mean, I could do, but I don't think it would generate much more power, if I'm honest. So, heavy, heavy miner. Let's see, what do we need for the... Miner. Deep miner. Pretty much everything in here. Electrum Envor Constantin. Electrum Envor Constantin. And while that is running, I'm going to go and mine some coal. So I'm going to need a lot of it. And we'll hopefully see how much better this heavy drill is. See, there's a load of coal down here. Ah, that's much quicker. Look at that. Like a kni hot knife through butter. And this is why I wanted this heavy drill. I should have probably got it earlier. But, you know, priorities and what have you. And there we go with the heavy drill. It's taken me about three minutes to just mine out that whole area. It's so much quicker. Yeah, where's my base? I've just seen it somewhere. Uh, yeah, there it is. Turn that off. So, there's one in there. Just gonna fill this up as best I can. There's two more. Uh, we can see the coal just sticking out there, so we know that's full, so we'll be fine. Oh, a little bit windy. A little bit of wind. For once we've got more power coming in than we've got going out. Let's see you done. Alright, where to build you? This will be the fun bit. Oh, behave. I do keep forgetting how low the gravity is. Um, oh, sun's up. Okay, quickly. Oh, oh, what are we getting? 78 watts, 79 it's going to pick up as it comes across. Okay, that's okay. Well, that's doing that. I want to... Do, do, do. Set you to flatten. Hydration critical. No, it's not. How's that? That looks okay. Yeah, it's fine. So, what do I need to continue building here? I can't remember. Steel sheets in my right hand. Okay. My wife messaging me, don't be late to pick me up. 
as if I'd be late to pick her up. I don't know why I did that. I actually want to steal in there. Never mind. <laughs> steal the sheet. Actually, how many do I need for the miner? Um, welding torch, 12 steel sheets, 5 cable coil, 4 electronic parts. 12 steel sheets. So guys, the last couple of videos I've edited using DaVinci Resolver rather than Adobe Premiere. Um, I'm trying to get away from the Adobe so I don't have to keep paying out monthly. Uh, DaVinci is uh, Resolver is free. Although I have bought a few plugins for it, but again it's a one-off payment rather than 30 quid a month. Which I've got to cough up at the minute for using um, Adobe. Um, please tell me if you see an improvement in the video qualities or the editing. I do think Resolve is actually easier to use than Adobe. Um, it's a bit more intuitive. At first I was like, oh my god, what am I doing? But no, it does look to be a bit better. Um, and I can replace Photoshop with GIMP. So I can use GIMP anyway. So it's just a case of transitioning away from Adobe. And Adobe's just so expensive, that's the problem. Um, I don't mind using it, but it is expensive. But like I said, Resolver looks quite good. I don't know if any of you guys have got experience using it or not. How much power we got coming in? 260s, 270. That's purely got to be those, because uh, there's wind turbines aren't turning. What was after? Electronics parts. I need... Iron, gold, copper, gold, iron, copper, and I think I need four of these, four electronics parts, I actually had some steel on me already. Oh, what amount of gold? Any gold in you? No. And you're not going to gold. And you're not going to gold. They're not going to gold on me. Not in there. Not in there. Not in there. Boom. Let me go and mine some gold. I should be back shortly. It's gold, gold anywhere. Do I not see it? I did go with this side action wipe out a lot of the gold already. No oh, SM. Um, it's quite a bit actually. Okay. Let's quickly get this. I'll do let's just head back, I'm out of water. Start to suffer damage. Empty. Oh no, it's full. Okay. Let's stop the immediate effects. Right. Yeah, yeah, we know you're out of breath. Let me make a song and dance about it. Ping. I need to start growing some plants because I need to start making some wheat. So you know what, the temperature is 25 in here. The temperature is fine in here now. Wheat. How many have we got? Two. Only two. It's going to be risky. Let's just hope they don't die. Oh, 
How many of those? Two. Oh, I've one of them. I'm too chicken. Too chicken! To do any more. Right. Gold. I've got my gold. That backpack can go back in here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You can close. You can go back in there. Does you have anything in you? I want it. Do I? No. You can go in there. Right. I know I'm dirty again. I'm always dirty. Oh, not too bad. Right, I need another two of these. Two of those. Uh, cables. Got everything I need. a big old burn from that, isn't how much gas is left in there? 2,000, doesn't matter, I've got plenty of gas in that tank right there. I just need a utility. Um, cables, and possibly screwdriver, is it? So I need to run the power. I think I'm going to rejig the power a bit. I think I'm going to run down here. need a lot more cabling which means I need more copper so I'm going to run the power down to there um, I've got to run the chute up and into here I will have my combustion centrifuge maybe it's up against that wall or something I don't know yet or maybe it's on that side actually probably it's on that side so I can bring the chute in this side feed out the ores that side into the building um, but I think that's for next time guys it is getting late, I have to go and go pick my... go say late, it's Saturday morning. <laughs> I've got to go and pick my good lady up. Um, I am intending to do some streaming later today, although you'll, I'll have done it by the time you see this video. Yeah, I'm probably going to start again on Mars. I'm just going to go to a normal Mars playthrough on Station Ears, because I want to stream on both Twitch and YouTube at the same time. And while well, I've got a brutal game going, that was purely on, on YouTube, and I haven't done it in a while, so I'm just going to... I'm afraid I'm going to scratch that one. I'm going to start again on Mars, streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe. 
your support is greatly appreciated. I need all the help I can get. Uh, I am monetized on this channel now, by the way. But I, I make like 50, 60p a day at the moment. It does not cover my costs. And it's certainly not putting me in a position where I can buy a new laptop, which I'd like to do, because this will get a bit old and creaky and groany. So yeah, support is gratefully appreciated. But for now, guys, Dragonfly Gamer wishing you good night.